Good morning out there, everybody. This is Cruise Man. I'll get my microphone squared away here. <clears throat> Just about to head home from my Sunday breakfast at Awake with Don Smith. You can check out his channel at texastulane.com. He's got some interesting videos over there. And our beautiful fall weather is gone. And today it is, uh, it's not too cold really, it's only about 50 degrees, but as you can see on the windshield, we've got a little bit of mist. Uh, it rained last night pretty good, but the streets have dried up a little bit. But we're supposed to get more rain today, and it's supposed to get down to 34 degrees later today. And that will be the coldest day so far. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that because I've got a lot of work to do in the garage and my garage is not heated. Now it is insulated, which helps, but uh, it's not heated. So I've still got a lot of uh, projects. My garage renovation is coming along slowly. Um, really had a screw up on the uh, new floor. I know a lot of you have asked me about my new epoxy floor. And uh, I had scheduled this a couple of weeks ago. They were supposed to have it done last week. And emailed the guy back and forth several times. Uh, it was actually referred to me by another guy that I ride, don't ride with, but I know him. He's a Goldwing owner here locally. <coughs> And turns out, the night before they're supposed to show up at my house to do the floor, he sent me an email and said, hey, I don't have your address. And uh, so I sent him my address and he emails me right back and says, you're in Carrollton? He said, we're in Houston. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened. So that got uh, delayed. I may now be looking for another company locally to do my uh, garage floor and I'm considering this uh, I think they call it polyaspartic flooring which is kind of like an epoxy but it's a much tougher uh, more resilient surface so I'm considering that I've got a company coming out next week to give me a quote this is it's Sunday so they'll be out I think on Tuesday um, of course, we had Black Friday on Friday, and apparently uh, business was very good. Christmas sales were up. Online sales were way up. I don't get it. Home sales are at record high. Car sales are at record high. Yet they keep talking about all these hundreds of thousands of people that are out of work every week. I don't, I don't know how these numbers work. I don't get it. Maybe if some of you understand it, you can explain the economics to me. But how is it so many people can be out of work, and yet we have record car sales and record home sales and record Christmas sales? I just don't get it. Is it credit? What is it? Doesn't matter. I guess it's good news one way or the other. So it's a little cool this morning. Uh, my temperature gauge now says it's 49 degrees. But right now it's dry it's not raining so that's a good thing so my custom cabinets are under construction and they're supposed to be ready uh, this coming week sometime I don't know when they're planning on coming out and installing those um, I'm excited about that I will be painting those myself I have a Wagner paint sprayer one of those airless paint sprayers that I will be uh, testing out and reviewing. So you'll get to see that. I just finished a video yesterday morning. I'm going to actually go home right now to start editing a video of a new lighting product for the 2018 to 2020, soon to be 2021 Honda Goldwing. And I'm telling you, it is super, super cool. It is very cool. 
and uh, I had to install it on Don Smith's motorcycle and once you watch the video you'll understand why I couldn't install it on my motorcycle but I think it's one of the neatest new lighting products uh, that I've seen and uh, I think it's something a lot of you guys are going to want for your bike so that's all I'm going to tell you right now I should have the video out in a day or two I hope a couple days three days maybe don't know yet how long it's going to take to edit it down uh, but it is uh, it is a really cool product and I've got a couple other videos I'm, I've got my a new studio that I've been working on I've got three or four things just sitting there on the table to uh, I've got to get photos and video of uh, so I can review them for you because I've just been super busy and it's uh, now it's the time of year where I have to really pick what days I can work out in the garage because it gets too cold out there I do have a portable heater I can bring in to heat up the room but you know if you open the garage door to go somewhere then there goes all your heat so you have to start over again so it's uh, real inefficient but uh, I think there's some some products coming up on you know in the on the channel that you're gonna really be excited about also this is the last couple days of our uh, Cyber Monday Black Friday Cyber Monday promotion for my videos and uh, I'm not gonna go on about that very long but I just wanted to make sure you understood there's only a couple days left on that and the response to that has just once again just been incredible it just blows my mind it must really be selling Honda must be selling a lot of 2018 to 2020 gold wings because our video sales have just been through the roof incredible I really appreciate all of you guys that have supported this channel and uh, supported what we're trying to do with by purchasing my videos which helps support the channel you'll notice I no longer really talk about asking those of you that watch the videos to subscribe or hit the like button I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I find it super annoying when every YouTube video they keep talking about smash that like button or smash that subscribe button so I I really don't talk about it anymore I'll, I'll throw up a little graphic uh, occasionally but uh, I don't usually make a big deal out of it anymore because I find it very annoying uh, when everybody does that to me so for what it's worth I do appreciate those of you that have subscribed <laughs> In fact, this last week, we just exceeded 28,000 subscribers on the channel, which is pretty nice. I'd like to get up to 30,000 here as soon as possible. But Now, even though we didn't get much rain, the streets were a little wet when I left the house this morning. And you can still see a little moisture on the windshield. And I'd like to know, what do you guys do uh, to kind of mitigate riding in wet weather? Do you take extra precautions? I know I always, I try to ride in econ mode most of the time. Today I'm in tour mode, but usually I ride in econ mode. And I actually find, for me personally, I think econ mode is even a milder setting than the rain mode. Uh, what is your experience? Do you use the rain mode? If you have a 2018 Goldwing or any bike that has multiple uh, riding modes, do you ride with the uh, rain mode or do you use the econ mode or do you just ignore it altogether? But I've always found that the econ mode is works really good on uh, wet streets. So I'd be anxious to hear what you guys do. I know I just take things a little slower. Uh, I'm more careful uh, going around corners. Obviously, I'm uh, just more cautious when the roads are wet. Just because of traction. You know, just, you just don't have the traction that you would have on a normal dry pavement. I'm pretty cautious anyway. But uh, even more so when the roads, or the, in this case, the parking lots are wet. So I appreciate you joining me today. Thanks again for tuning in. And I will check in with you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.
If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.